Okay, so now we're ready to give Eli his medicine. We've went ahead and prepared all the meds and the vials and crushed up all his pills for you. So first we'll have a PM medicine vial. In here there's two different sets. The one on the right is the liquid. The one on the left is the crushed powder. Don't have to do anything with the liquid, so we'll just put that to the side for now. And this is the one with the crushed powder. These are the ones that you'll be using. Same process for the AM. We went ahead and set up already here for tonight so that we don't disturb yours, but it'll be the same process in the morning. So what we'll do is take off the little cap. We're going to turn on the faucet, turn it to warm water, let that run for maybe a minute or two so that you can get the warm water. And you're going to stick the tip in the water and pull back on the handle. You're going to put your finger on the end and shake it up. Once it's done shaking, you pull the suction back just a little bit more to get the meds out of the tip. And you're going to push all the air out. And then you're going to repeat the process. Suck more water into it. Shake it up. Pull back a little bit more to get the liquid out of the tip. And push the air out. For the morning, we want to usually fill it up to around 20 cc's. And we want to keep shaking it up, get all the air out of it, and that will be ready to go. For the morning, that's all you're going to have is just this one vial. Again, for the night, you're going to also have the white liquid vial. Once that's ready to go, you're going to have the tube put it next to his stomach. We want to make sure the clamp is open. Make sure the small port is closed and just run water into the tip. You'll see the water come out of the other end and just clamp it and shut it and that'll be ready to go as well. Then you're going to grab the big tube. That's going to be used for flushing whatever medicine is still left in this tube and suck water into that. You're going to want around 35, 30 to 35 cc's. So you're going to go through that process and fill that up. Once that's ready to go, we'll head on to his bedroom and give him all of his meds. Alright, so now we got his medicine ready. This happens to be a nighttime medicine. So we're going to have one vial with the liquids that's crushed up and diluted. One vial with the white liquid medicine. And one with just the water for the flush. So first we're going to have to take the white tube here. Yeah. We're going to connect it into his port. So you have to open it up. There's a little plastic tip. And then you're going to line up the two black holes, the two black lines. It'll snap in and then you twist it to lock it in. A quarter turn uh, or half a turn or full turn is good enough. Once that's ready, you're going to want to get the medicine. You can start with either the liquid or the mixed powder. You're going to want to do water too. So we're going to have it in the little small port. We're going to open the clamp and then we're going to put the white liquid medicine into the tube. Caden, push. Caden will demonstrate how it's to be done. Nice and slow and even. So now we'll clamp it. We'll take this one out. We'll replace it with the solution that's been mixed with the powder. We'll also open the big port and put the water in at the same time. I'm going to do this one, okay? The big one. We're going to open the clamp. Well, I'm going to do this one. Open the clamp. Open the clamp. Open the clamp. Open it. Like this. Once the clamp is open, the purpose of having both these hooked up is so that we can push the water and the med at the same time. That helps dilute it and prevent any clogging in his tube. So you're going to want to continue, especially in the morning, you're going to want to do this where you're rocking it to mix it up because one of the medicines is a little bit more granular and can tend to clog it. So once you get ready to go, Cheryl likes to put one up against her stomach for the water and do her hand with this one and push them simultaneously. The medicine you want to go about twice as fast as the water. Push him through. That'll get his meds. 
you want to make sure all of his meds are gone. If you see any meds still still in here, you might want to have to suck some water back into it by pulling this in. That'll give you a little bit more water. You can mix it up and shake it and then push it back out. So once that's done, you can take that small one out, close the small port, open it back up, and push water to flush the rest of the meds out of the tube. It goes all the way to six feet. Now for bedtime, that would be set and ready to go. You would leave his tube in there for his meds or for his dinner. Uh, we're going to show you how to take out the tube just because we have it here ready to go. Basically you turn it in the opposite direction of the arrow, line up the two black dots, the two black lines, and it'll just pull right out. And then you'll put the clamp back in, make sure that snaps in, and he's ready to go.